On Earth, the most powerful storms ever recorded reach wind speeds of nearly 250 miles per hour. But if you think those are the fiercest winds in the universe, think again. Imagine a planet where winds tear across the atmosphere at over 12 miles per second. That's 200 times faster than the strongest hurricanes on Earth. A world where supersonic gusts rip through the sky so intense they can hurl iron into space. And the most incredible part? Scientists have just measured these winds for the first time in history. Using one of the most powerful telescopes on Earth, astronomers have uncovered the secrets of a strange exoplanet called WASP-121b. And the latest research has revealed astonishing new insights into how these supersonic winds behave. But how do we measure wind speeds on a planet 1,300 light years away? And what do these discoveries mean for the future of space exploration? Welcome to Astro, where we unravel the mysteries of the cosmos one discovery at a time. I'm James Brown. And today, we're diving into one of the most extreme exoplanets ever found. Let's explore this mind-blowing world together. If there were a list of the most extreme planets ever discovered, WASP-121b would undoubtedly be near the top. This is not just another hot exoplanet. It's a world where nature pushes the limits of what we thought was possible. WASP-121b is located 1,300 light-years from Earth in the constellation Puppis. It belongs to a category of exoplanets known as ultra-hot Jupiters, gas giants so blisteringly hot that they can literally vaporize metals. To put that into perspective, let's compare it to Jupiter, the largest planet in our solar system. WASP-121b has a similar mass to Jupiter, but its radius is about 1.8 times larger. That means it's puffed up like a giant balloon, its atmosphere stretched thin by extreme heat. But what truly sets WASP-121b apart is its orbit. This planet is so close to its star that its distance is only 1 slash 50th of Earth's distance from the Sun. That's 50 times closer, an orbit so tight that it brings the planet to the edge of destruction. Being so close to its star, WASP-121b is locked in what's known as tidal locking, meaning one side is permanently facing the star, just like how the moon always shows the same face to Earth. This results in a staggering temperature contrast between its two hemispheres. Imagine standing on the surface of WASP-121b. If you were on the day side, you'd be exposed to temperatures over 5,400 degrees Fahrenheit, hot enough to vaporize most metals and even break apart atmospheric molecules. But move to the night side, and the temperature drops to 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. Still blisteringly hot, but far less extreme. But something unimaginable happens at the boundary between these two halves. Supersonic winds constantly rush from the scorching day side to the cooler night side, trying to balance the extreme temperature difference. And this leads us to WASP-121b's biggest secret. The fastest winds ever measured on an exoplanet. These winds are unlike anything we've ever seen before. They reach speeds of up to 45,000 miles per hour. That's 60 times the speed of sound on Earth. This doesn't just make the atmosphere turbulent. It actually blasts metallic elements out into space. But how did we measure this from 1,300 light years away? The answer lies in some of the most advanced astronomical technology ever built. In the next section, We'll explore how scientists used an enormous telescope to detect and measure the wind speeds of a planet trillions of miles away. Imagine a world where winds don't just knock down skyscrapers, but are powerful enough to rip metals straight into space. 
This is the reality of WASP-121B where wind speeds can reach over 45,000 miles per hour, a staggering 60 times the speed of sound on Earth. But these winds don't behave like hurricanes on Earth. They are fueled by an extreme temperature contrast between the two sides of the planet, one side constantly scorched at 5,400 degrees Fahrenheit, while the other remains cooler at 2,700 degrees Fahrenheit. On Earth, warm air rises while cool air rushes in to replace it, creating winds. But on WASP-121b, this process is pushed to the absolute extreme. As the atmosphere on the day side heats up, powerful supersonic winds begin transporting this energy toward the night side. But what's fascinating is that not all elements move the same way. To study this, scientists turn to one of the most advanced telescopes on Earth. The Very Large Telescope, VLT, in Chile, equipped with the ultra-precise Espresso spectrograph. By analyzing the light emitted from the planet, they were able to track how different atoms move through its atmosphere. By measuring these subtle shifts, astronomers could determine the exact wind speeds at different layers of the atmosphere. And here's what they found. Iron moves at 11,000 miles per hour, symmetrically flowing from the day side to the night side. Sodium, some atoms move like iron, but others race across the equator at a staggering 45,000 miles per hour, four times faster. Hydrogen not only follows the high-speed winds, but also rises vertically, escaping into space and forming a massive atmospheric tail. This discovery reveals that WASP-121b's atmosphere isn't uniform. Each layer moves differently, shaped by the planet's extreme environment. These findings don't just help us understand WASP-121b, they pave the way for future studies of exoplanets. If we can measure wind speeds on a planet 1,300 light years away, imagine what we could discover about potentially habitable worlds. In the next section, we'll explore the deeper significance of these discoveries, how they help us understand planetary formation and what they mean for the search for life beyond Earth. Every time we discover a new exoplanet, we're not just learning about a distant world, we're also piecing together the greater puzzle of our own solar system. WASP-121b is no exception. What we've learned from WASP-121b helps answer fundamental questions. How do gas giants form and evolve? What determines their orbits? And most importantly, can a planet hold on to its atmosphere, or will it be stripped away over time? 1. Understanding the formation of gas giants When astronomers first discovered ultra-hot Jupiters, like WASP-121b, they were baffled. According to early planetary formation models, gas giants like Jupiter and Saturn should only form far from their stars, where temperatures are cool enough for gas to condense and accumulate. But WASP-121b and other similar exoplanets orbit extremely close to their stars, suggesting they must have formed farther away and migrated inward. This process, called planetary migration, occurs when a planet's orbit shifts over time due to gravitational interactions. Understanding how WASP-121b got so close to its star helps us uncover why Jupiter in our own solar system didn't suffer the same fate. If it had, it could have destabilized Earth's orbit, potentially making life as we know it impossible. Two. Exoplanet Atmospheres, the key to finding habitable worlds. One of the greatest goals in modern astronomy is to study exoplanet atmospheres because they hold the key to determining whether a planet can support life. WASP-121b itself is far from habitable, but it serves as a natural laboratory for studying how atmospheres behave under extreme conditions. If we can understand how atmospheres are shaped by heat, pressure, and violent winds, we can apply that knowledge to identify planets more suitable for life. 
For example, if we find a rocky exoplanet with an Earth-like atmosphere, but it's subjected to intense stellar winds or radiation, could it hold onto its atmosphere long enough for life to develop? Studying WASP-121b helps us get closer to answering that question. 3. The Future of Exoplanet Research Today, telescopes like VLT and James Webb are revolutionizing our understanding of exoplanets. But this is just the beginning. In the near future, with the arrival of the Extremely Large Telescope ELT, we will be able to study smaller and cooler exoplanets in unprecedented detail. Our ultimate goal? Not just to measure wind speeds on distant gas giants, but to search for signs of life on worlds beyond our solar system. From supersonic winds tearing through a gas giant, to subtle chemical signatures in a habitable planet's atmosphere, the universe is filled with mysteries waiting to be unraveled. We've just explored one of the most extreme planets ever discovered. A world where winds move faster than a speeding bullet, an atmosphere torn apart by scorching heat, and gases so turbulent they can launch iron into space. But beyond the staggering numbers, beyond the supersonic winds and blistering temperatures, this discovery is about something far greater. It helps us piece together the story of how gas giants form, evolve, and migrate across the cosmos. And more importantly, it's a major step forward in using cutting-edge technology to decode the atmospheres of distant worlds. And this is just the beginning. As next-generation telescopes like the ELT come online, we won't just be studying ultra-hot gas giants. We'll be searching for signs of life on planets more like Earth. But what if we discover a planet with all the right conditions, an atmosphere teeming with the chemical fingerprints of life? What do you think? Is WASP-121b the most extreme exoplanet we've ever found? Or are there even wilder worlds out there still waiting to be uncovered? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you love exploring the mysteries of the universe, don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss our next deep dive. And if you're curious about more bizarre exoplanets, check out the video on your screen now.